on everybody welcome back to our channel we are travel unfiltered we like to give you the unfiltered version of the places that you see all over your social media feeds yeah. and so we see that we're constantly bombarded with these videos that have a million filters on them they're so saturated and yeah. we just want to give you a look at what they actually look like in mm -hmm. real life so when you go you kind of have a better idea of what to expect yeah so if that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the community we'd love to have you the point of filming this we're almost to 600 which 600 subscribers which sounds like nothing to a lot of people, but to us, it is huge. So thank you for being one of those. We'd love for you to join if you're not already. And um, leave a like on the video. And if you want to follow us on social media, everything will be linked down below. Essentially, we were traveling around Europe for the last year, but specifically the last month. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to do Rome in a little bit of a different way. Yeah. At least the video part of it. Yeah. So we recorded it while we were in Chiquita Vecchia. <laughs> and... Yep. But this is what the audio sounded like. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are Travel Unfiltered, and we like to travel, obviously, and share videos and just kind of experience it. It's trash. <laughs> it was not good. Ah, it sucked. <laughs> and so we were like, yeah, when we have time here, we'll film it. Mm -hmm. When we have time here, we'll refilm it. When we have time here, we'll refilm it. And then we were back in Albuquerque. <laughs> Yeah, so. it's it like I knew editing videos was a process like I don't mind doing it But when you have to get back into your old life your old house your old job your old city buying new cars There's a bunch of stuff and um, Making videos kind of got put on the back burner. So yeah, yeah. so we haven't been as active mm -hmm. on our YouTube as we would like not, But yeah. we are transitioning back into mm -hmm. like our normal life and what it looks like to Get back to reality, I guess, because yeah. we've been living in a fantasy world for the last year. And so, um, yeah, we will yeah. have more videos out coming out a lot more consistently mm -hmm. because we have Rome and then we have our cruise. We go to the cruise, yeah. Venice. Venice, then Switzerland, then France. Yeah, so yeah. we have a lot of videos coming your way. Mm -hmm. We're also going to do a video probably about what it looked like to move back to yeah, the States. And, and what it looked like to move there and move back. Mm -hmm. Just because that's a process and I know a lot of people are trying to leave the United States right now. So yeah, might be an interesting video. Yeah. But yeah. So we just wanted to share our experience in Rome. It's our second time being there. This time was with a totally different group of people. And we actually got to spend time here because the last time we were in Rome was only for like six hours or something yeah. like that. It was, on a, it was for a cruise and it was amazing when we went. But it was nice to be able to do things at a slower pace and experience more and actually get to experience Rome. I know I said experience multiple times, but yeah. it's kind of all it was, you know, yeah. like it, was, it was good. We got to actually spend time places. <laughs> yes, when we went the yes. first time, we were That's just kind I mean. of like sprinting around. We yeah. were like, we need to see this, we need to see this, we need to see this. And we yeah. have six hours, so hightail it, you right, know, like right. it wasn't... We didn't really get to spend time anywhere. We just got to see things, which mm. was still awesome. Um, we really liked that a lot, but it was nice. We had, I think, four days mm -hmm. in Rome. So yeah, it was it was a really yeah. good experience. We went to the Amalfi Coast, which I think mm -hmm. is the last video you guys yes. saw. So if you want to see that video, go check it out before this one or after this one, whatever you want to do. Yeah. So we were in staying in Sorrento and we took a train from Sorrento to Naples and then from Naples to Rome. And so that first day, we got in in the afternoon and we went and checked into our hotel and stuff and we were staying kind of close to the Vatican. So we were like, let's just go over there and see what it is. And you know, we had seen St. Peter's Basilica. We had seen- um, like We've the, been in the Vatican before. Yeah. Not like in it, but in the, like the Vatican, whatever that square is called. I know St. Peter's a, Square, I think. Maybe that's what it is, but that's where we were. We've been there yeah. before, but. But we got to go see it and we were walking <clears throat> around and we got there on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And on Wednesdays, the Pope does a blessing um, that people can come and they, it's like a service, I guess. And the Pope blesses the people there. And you know, it's, it's yeah. just a thing that they do. And my mom and some of the other people that we were with, are very Catholic, so that was really important to them. But it was the fifth Wednesday of the month. So we didn't think that we were gonna be able to right. see him because typically he only does four Wednesdays a month. 
But we were there and we were looking online and they said to go find these gold doors or something like it that. It was a mission. It was like straight out of video games. Like you got to solve a <laughs> riddle in order to get where you're trying to go. That's kind of what that experience was like. Yeah. But. So me and my mom were running all over <laughs> asking everybody how to get tickets to go see the Pope. Yeah. And we ended up doing it. My mom's a trooper. She went by herself to the gold mm -hmm. doors to go to the Swiss Guard to get tickets. And yeah. it ended up working out. And so yeah. everybody is super excited that we got tickets to go mm -hmm. see the Pope. We just got 10 of them. There's nine of us in our, and there were nine of us in the group. And they just handed out 10 tickets. And I just, I thought it was going to be more difficult to get to pay for them. But nope. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So if then, it was in the United States, you'd have to pay. But. And you have to pay for everything yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we did that. And then I think we just... We just went back. We were done after yeah. that. Because it was, it was a long day. Like travel days are always pretty taxing on your mind and body. So we went back to the hotel, woke up bright and early the next day. Because that was when we actually went to see the Pope. And we his thing was at like 9 in the morning. And we got there at like 7. We were up at like 6. It was an early morning. Um, but we saw the Pope. It was really cool. Got some footage on the screen for you. Yeah, it was, it was a cool experience. We're not religious, but the a lot of people that were in the group with us were are very Catholic, and they wanted to do it. It was a very cool experience. Like even if you're not religious, it's a dope experience. Like it was really cool. Yeah. So it was neat because they did it in a lot of different languages mm -hmm. too. So they did yeah. English, Spanish, Italian, French, Portuguese, German. German um, and then there was like a Middle Eastern language. I yes, yes. don't even want to try and guess. Nah. I'm sorry. I'm just not <laughs> educated yeah. enough on that. Right. Um, but they did something there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there was maybe one or two other languages, but they did it in a lot it's of really languages. Cool. So it was cool Very that inclusive. like how inclusive it is and how much they, you know, want to appeal to to all people. Um, yeah. So that was that was really neat. Mm -hmm. then, I think we went back for a nap. Huh? <laughs> in between no we didn't do did we oh so. we wouldn't you don't nap in rome um yeah after that we went to brunch. saw the sights went to brunch saw the sights in in rome yeah we went to the trevi, trevi fountain. fountain and that was cool like we last time we went um we were able to go like right next to the fountain this mm -hmm. time you unfortunately weren't probably because there's so many more people there mm -hmm. oh my goodness toby when we were in Europe, we did not have to worry about dogs interrupting filming, but that's going to be a new norm, so... <laughs> At least he's cute. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we saw the Trevi Fountain. It was really cool. It was cool to see... I think what was cool for me, I've already seen it. It's a very beautiful fountain, but it's cool seeing everybody else in our group see the Trevi Fountain. Yeah. It's, nobody a, it's else... a work of art. It's incredible. Yeah. But... Yeah, and they hadn't seen it. Either it's been years since they've seen it, or they've yeah. never seen it yeah. before. There's a lot of people, first time mm -hmm. visitors to Europe, so yeah. it was a cool experience. So it was really cool. Yeah. We saw the Pantheon. Pantheon. That was beautiful. I got <sighs> kicked. I didn't I didn't get kicked out. I wasn't let in. Like, because the first time they bitched at me about my hat, and I'm like, whatever, it's a hat. I'll acquiesce because it's not a big deal. But this time, I was like maybe 10 seconds behind them. So I was, and they just passed the guard. So I was like, oh, instead of waiting in line. To and just, the line was like six people. It was not like, a line. It was like, instead of just like waiting for him to say I could go in, I'll just go underneath the thing and go to my group. And he like yelled at me. He's like, you gotta go all the way out, like this whole thing. So I just ended up not going because one, I've already seen it. And two, I get very like anti-authority when somebody tells me what to do. Um, so I was like, I'm not going to go in at all now. Cause he was like, you, you're not, you like, you need to wait. He started yelling at me. Like he acted like I was laughing. It was a weird experience. Um, definitely don't try to piss off the people who run those, um, like points of interest in Rome because they are kind of power hungry in my opinion. So I'll let it get to him. Yeah. But, so we did so that, that was fun. At least we got a memory from it. So yeah, memory. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get arrested. It's fine. No big deal. Yeah, so then we did the Spanish steps. Which we didn't get to do the last time. Mm -hmm. So that was cool to see those. That was really cool because she's a big Cheetah Girls fan. And do they, do they don't do that? Oh, that's Barcelona. Rip. I don't know. But I thought yeah, that, that didn't have anything to do with Cheetah Girls? 
Lizzie McGuire, maybe, but Oh, really. that's the movie. <laughs> that's the movie. Okay, I knew it was some Disney Channel movie. Okay, I got it. We can move on. <laughs> So that was our second day in Rome. Mm -hmm. We also, all the way throughout, we were just eating and drinking our yeah, way through Rome. Yeah. So we were kind of like, we had four days there. So we were not necessarily needing to do it all right away. Mm -hmm. So we would do like one thing and then we'd get food and drinks. Yeah. We definitely got our fill of wine and pasta food, and yeah. pizza and gelato. So mm -hmm. it was awesome. Day three, we did a tour of the Vatican. So if you go to Rome with Catholics, <laughs> you're gonna go to the day, Vatican a lot. <laughs> three days in a row. Like it's almost like we didn't go, we did not visit Rome. There was not one single day where we didn't visit the Vatican, it feels like. <laughs> yeah. So day three, we fun. had a tour to the Vatican. Mm -hmm. So we actually got to go into the Basilica. Yeah. We got to do the Vatican Museum. And we also got to see the Sistine Chapel, so those were awesome. Like, yeah. and you're not gonna convince me that aliens are not real <laughs> once you've seen those buildings. Like, I'm sorry, but unless they had some sort of technology that we don't know yeah. about, or I don't know, but there's no way you're gonna convince me that aliens aren't yeah. real because they're like the way every that they built single this stuff. well, yeah. the building itself is nuts. Every single piece of art work on the walls and the ceiling in St. Peter's Basilica is um, like little pieces of tile mm -hmm. that they put together to make these masterpieces. Like specifically in the basilica, so the big dome piece is yeah. all little tiny tiles. Yeah. And so because of that, you're not going to tell me that this guy was up there just like, oh, I'm going to put this here, I'm going to put this here, I'm going to put this here. And when you look from down below, everything looks cohesive and everything looks like yeah. the right size yeah. everything looks perfect no you're it's not all perfectly me. proportioned and, mm -hmm. and aliens yeah. exist they are real <laughs> you're not gonna convince me otherwise they've been around for a long time they've been here for a long time the statues are ridiculously huge and I'm detailed. like we can't even do that with our technology and with now. lasers and stuff like yeah. okay we can do that kind of now but there's no way how do they even get it up there not in like the fifth century that's no. not so, at least for what we know of the fifth century i don't know yeah so you're not going to convince me of that but either it's way beautiful super it is cool. incredible <laughs> we got to walk up aliens are god who knows <laughs> we got to walk up to the dome mm -hmm. um so we did a tour up there and that was cool just to see everything up close like you see it from the bottom and it's incredible and then you see it up close and you're like Holy yeah, moly, like these are literally just these little yeah. tiny tiles that are placed all over. And and the view from the very, very top of St. Peter's Basilica is breathtaking. Yeah, because like, you can see pretty much all of Rome yeah, from up there. Like it is one of my favorite views I've ever seen. It's so cool. Yeah. It's so cool. But it's a lot of stairs. Yeah. So if you're going <laughs> to yeah. do that tour, yeah. just know that it's a lot it's, of stairs. And <laughs> it's pretty tight. Like I think... I'm I'm like a I'm not a broad dude, but I'm also not a skinny dude. I'm right there in the middle, and I maybe had like, like an inch or two on each side of clearance of me. So I was like, if if I had claustrophobia, I'd be a little claustrophobic, but I don't. So. Yeah. So just be mindful of that if you yeah. do end up doing. I would something I like would that. do it. I'd still do it, but just be aware. And not sponsored, but we'll link the tour below. Oh, so yeah, if you yeah. do go to Rome, mm -hmm. it was actually a really neat tour that we mm -hmm. were able to do um so we'll link that down below yeah and, so and if, if you, you click it interested. if you click it and you go to europe or if you go to your or rome and you use our link to buy the tour then we do get a little bit of kickback we'd appreciate that a ton if you're going to rome to use our link if not do what you're gonna do um but yeah it's it was super cool like she gave us a very thorough tour of of the vatican and then the Vatican Museum was insane. Like it was really cool, but it was just like, we were packed like sardines. Yeah, and it so was just like the most hectic thing. We didn't mention so. this before, but it just so happened that oh, we were yeah. in Rome on like- The Italian- Republic, Republic Day. Day. Yeah, the Italian Republic Day or something. Yeah, and so- It's um, like 4th of that, July, like Independence Day for Italy. But the entrance fees for a lot of the places were waived. So, mm -hmm. so many more, one, so many more Italians were traveling. Which was awesome. Um, and so there was just a lot more people. And two, entrances to things were free. So, so many more people were trying to go. So thankfully we had a tour because mm -hmm. the line to get into the Vatican Museum was like- Three or four hours. 
tours. Uh, yeah, easily. 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 And that's a Because being tours get priority. Generous. Yeah. And I think personally that they should limit how many people they let in because we were literally like wall to wall yeah. people. So it was just kind of a miserable experience in general. But seeing everything was really cool. So you're like trying to balance that. Like it's hot. There's no like moving air mm -hmm. at all. There's no yeah. air conditioning. There's nothing. And it was hot and muggy. And then when people are touching you, like I just don't like that in general. <laughs> so then like that was making me like yeah. get the ick. Um, and so I don't feel like we got to appreciate it as much as we would have liked to, but still that museum was incredible. Mm -hmm. Like the mm -hmm. whole, everything was beautiful. And then we got to the Sistine Chapel and that was super cool. Like so cool was, to see that yeah. art in person. Like you see it everywhere, you know, like mm -hmm. you can Google pictures, but just to see it in pe person was super cool. And it's on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And so there was a point where like I was almost falling back trying to look up like this and Neil had to like grab my head and be like She's got okay. a she's got a kitty little bowling ball up here. <laughs> so she was looking up like this and like losing her balance. So I was like, I'll just hold your head so you can enjoy this. Like, <laughs> I'll support your head. So that's the one less thing you have to worry about. <laughs> He's so nice. <laughs> that was so funny. But yeah, the, the Sistine Chapel is so cool. Like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It was mm -hmm. awesome. I yeah. loved it. So that was so cool. So cool. Um, and that pretty much took up the majority yeah. of our day that day. Yeah. Um, I can't remember if we were allowed to film in the Sistine Chapel, but if I do have a clip, I will put it here. I want to say we weren't able to. I don't to. think we were, because I think that no phones is one of the biggest things. So. But day four. We got up, we kind of just like leisurely got up because yeah. we had gotten up early so many days in a row. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just kind of leisurely got up, did whatever we needed to do to get ready, whatever. And then we got on the train to go to the Coliseum. And oh, yeah. <sighs> this is where you have to be very careful when you go to pretty much any big city in Europe, mm -hmm. um, Rome, Paris, any of those big cities. And I'm sure it happens here in the U.S. too. We just don't really have public transportation. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't really know. But my dad got pickpocketed mm. and they took his wallet. It was a real bummer. He handled it like a champ though. And he realized it right away, which like, is like... Almost instantaneously. It's crazy. Best case scenario, but also freaking sucks. Yeah. Because you're like... Yeah. I don't know. So we were getting in and it was packed. The train was packed. And... There was this lady who I'm like 95% sure it was her. She like came in after us and we were trying to like scoot so that she could get on the train, whatever. And then he goes, oh, I got pickpocketed. And literally as the train doors were closing, she like wedged herself out and smack, got smacked by the doors. And so we were like, oh, like, what do we do? So we got off at the next stop and like, uh, shut off all his credit cards, um, called all the banks, did all of that. And so that was like, just put a damper on the trip. And we we're still like in the first half of the trip. So that just sucks. Yeah. But he handled it like a champ. He was definitely bummed. Um, and this is coming out after Father's Day, so it's fine. But we were like, for Father's Day, we'll get him a new wallet. Mm -hmm. So you'll see that in the Switzerland yeah. vlog. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we did that and so that kind of made him happy and like realistically he didn't have very much cash so That was nice. It just sucks to have to replace all that stuff yeah. And you just feel violated, you know, like you're constantly like, oh, I don't know. Don't mm. touch anything I don't know. And so that just sucks. But then we went and ate and we saw the Coliseum And, and unfortunately we, we weren't able to go in again because entrance was free So so many people like I, I might have recorded the line of people going into the Coliseum. So if I did, it's right here. But if not, this thing was like a mile long. It had it to have been. It was insane how because long it went to get in. All the way from the Coliseum to like the back entrance of the Roman Forum. And it like zigzagged too. So it wasn't just like one straight line. It was like around curves and stuff. So yeah, it was yeah. insane. So many people. How many so people? And we're, like, we're not going to spend our whole day in line. Nah. Like, no. Nah. And we were trying to get tours and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but they were booked and we were like, why are all of these tours booked? And of course, 
And we yeah, found this we, out after. Yeah. Afterwards. Well, even our tour guide, she was like, I don't know why there's so many people here. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. She finally asked somebody when we were taking the tour of the Vatican um, or of like St. Peter's Basilica and stuff that she had asked somebody and she was like, oh, I didn't realize that was this weekend, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we were there for Italian Republic Day. <laughs> Which is cool to see so many people, but it was just like they had parades and yeah, stuff like that. But was there was cool. just so many people that we were yeah. like, of course, of mm. course we would pick <laughs> the busiest day of the year. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I don't know. Overall, Rome was awesome. Mm -hmm. We had a really, really great time. It sucks that it, but my dad got pickpocketed. Yeah. But for the most part, it was really just like a really great time. Mm -hmm. And just seeing such historical value of the city of Rome was awesome. Yeah. Um, I just love looking at all of the old architecture and all of the yeah. statues and stuff like that. But again, Europe is like one of the coolest places for many reasons, but one that is one of them. Like yeah. all the old architecture and everything that's still standing. So cool. Like it is awesome. Rome is one of my favorite cities. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Our next vlog will be our cruise vlog. Mm -hmm. We left Rome and took a train to Civita Vecchia. And from there we left on a cruise. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to see that in our next yeah, vlog. Keep your eye out for that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that was awesome too. That was just such a great experience. Actually our whole traveling experience yeah. was awesome. And I feel like yeah. we just kept like one upping, <laughs> one upping, one upping. And we were just yeah. like, wow, this is the new best place. Wow, this is my new favorite place. Wow, yeah. this is my new favorite place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then let us know if you guys have any questions about our transition back because we're gonna be planning that video probably in the next few days. So let us know what you guys wanna know or any questions you have or um, yes, yeah, so we can get yeah. those answered for you, but thank you for following along. We appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, we love you and we appreciate you for being here. Mm -hmm. Our social medias will be linked in the description down below as well. So go ahead and follow us there. I am really terrible at <laughs> posting so yeah. um i go like uh, where i do a lot of videos and then i'm like post 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 great job great job great job and then i don't post for a while so i'm working on getting better at that that's our unfiltered yeah. she's just got a little bit of adhd or a lot of bit of adhd so <laughs> yeah. sometimes it's a superpower and sometimes it's debilitating but we're working on it we're working both. on it and yeah so. but Keep yeah. an eye out for that. And we love you guys. And we're thankful you're here. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace.